<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Dial R's Quick Tactics. This is going to be my week three uh, free to play starter how to guide the ultimate week three beginner's guide to eternal evolution. Now, if you're a spender in this game, just pull on the Craxia banner and you'll win. Okay. But if you're free to play, if you're just giving this game a shot, you're in the first, the first four weeks where the game is on rails, then this is going to be your ultimate guide. So first of all, in week three, uh, we got to talk about the banners because the banners have changed. Uh, Crete was always the third week banner, but alas, no, they've given us Ampu. So where Dan was in week two, Ampu is now in week three. And if you've followed my week one guide and my week two guide, then you should be able to uh, almost immediately pull to pity on Ampu's banner. And I recommend pulling to pity here first and only pull 60. And then buy the gene hybrid from this Ampu banner and you're going to put it on Dan. Then through the week, uh, you're not going to have the the, uh, the 60 tickets. You're not going to have 120 tickets right away in week three. You're going to have to wait until about day four until you get uh, your ancient altar payout. And then you should have enough limited tickets if you've been efficient in the first two weeks to be able to pull to pity on the global banner. So this is now week three. Now the the offset banner is going to be whatever the current global banner is for the rest of the player base because this game is going to slowly start easing you into the global the global cadence and the global release structure. So pull 60 to pity on Ampu and then pull 60 to pity on whatever the global banner is for you. And you should be able to buy both genes. Now, this second gene that you get, you can either spend it on Leo or you can hoard it and save it for Maz. Now, I, I on this account, kind of recommend giving it to Leo because that's going to allow you to push uh, Soul Mine and push Story Mode. But that might might not be ideal because you do. There is a. a um, Actually, there's not a re uh, evolution event for Maz in week four. It's a recruitment event. So yes, go ahead, throw it on Leo because Leo is going to help you. You're going to want to get uh, Maz in week four through his recruitment event. Uh, but Leo, Maz, Daniel, Ampu are going to form a core of your team going forward after week four. But anyways, week three. So let's just recap. Again, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as you start week three, spend 60 tickets to get Ampu's pity copy and then buy the gene and put it on Daniel. Then throughout the week, as you get another 60 tickets, spend them on our, your, the global banner, whatever that may be, and then buy the gene hybrid and use that on Leo. You see in the top right hand corner of your screen, I still accrued another 78 tickets going into week four. So the limited tickets are fairly plentiful. They're plentiful enough that you should be able to follow this strategy. Now, how did I get all those limited tickets? Well, if we go look at Ancient Altar, in at the end of, or say on Sunday before the reset, I was able to get down Novice, Easy, Normal, and I did push two keys into Hard. Again, this is on Sunday. Today is Wednesday, the end of the week. And uh, with that, I was able to get all these nice juicy milestones that you only get once, right? You get a lot, a lot of limited tickets from this. As well, a good tip for week three and week two and week one is always check out Fatty's treasure. And if there is a, uh, a large RNG limited ticket box that is available for crystals, buy it or grab it. Always grab it because this will uh, often give you, what is it, three to five limited tickets and it can it's random when it pops up so keep on the lookout in fatty's treasure when those are popping up as well if we look at events uh so we had galactic treasure i can't show you what the previous table was because i've collected everything through the week but the main rewards were an ampu copy a senway copy and then 15 limited tickets and then associated other advanced tickets runes everything else that you see on this screen so you should have enough you do have to win five galactic uh arena battles every day and refresh it if you have to if you fail some 
Make sure that you're picking opponents at the very, very low end that you can beat. Uh, but you have to win five battles every day with the Galactic to get all of the rewards on the Galactic Treasure. And then this week, week three was double chips. So uh, we already talked about it. I did pull 120 uh, limited tickets. So I got 240 chips because it doubles it. And as you see, all I've spent is the 80 on both jeans and I'm hoarding the rest, the, the other 120. I do not recommend spending them here uh, because you are gonna have to save enough to buy the jean in week four for Masrani. Cause you really wanna get Masrani, Leo, Daniel, Ampu all up uh, as, as high together evenly as you can. I don't recommend buying an extra Dan copy or buying an extra Leo copy. I don't recommend doing that. Save these chips for next week and then maybe next week after you pull um, limited tickets to get Maserati, then maybe you can afford to uh, spend a little bit more. All right, okay. So that's basically limited tickets, um, double chip, military supplies, don't worry about this. If you're a spender, I wouldn't even rec recommend going for this, but yes, there are Ampu, Leo, and Bailey all in here, Gene Hybrid. You gotta spend a lot of money to get all this stuff. Now, week three is when, Hell Arena will actually open for you in week two, uh, but uh, you're gonna be fairly, you're gonna be put into fairly easy brackets. Like you see, this is week two, and there's a lot of bots in here. And if you've been playing efficiently, you should be able to rank up fairly high in week two and move on to week three. I do believe I'm in week three. Let's see, junior fighter. Yes, so I am in I am in week two right now. I will be promoted into intermediate fighter in week three. Then you're probably gonna tap out because you know you're a brand new account and you won't have all the nice shiny toys. So that is open. When you decide to create your account, you're going to either have Twilight Lands open in week three or you're going to have the endless battles open in week three and that's gonna carry on that's gonna be the one you're gonna have in week four as well so on this account we started so that we got uh, endless battles in that opened at the beginning of week three which is is ideal in my opinion because you are grouped with all those people that started with you as you see in the left hand side of your screen I am in ninth currently in this endless battle. Now, when you watch this video, your endless battle or your Twilight Lands is gonna be completely different from mine. But basically, just use whatever heroes uh, you have available to, uh, to get the highest score you can, uh, given whatever game mode is open. You see Hunters, right? Hunters, because this is a Hunter dungeon, and then Summoners, or this is Assassins, because it's an Assassin dungeon, basically, right? and and Taylor because he can jump into the circle. But my point is whatever's open, Twilight Lands or Endless Battles, if you've been playing efficiently, you should be able to get just get through it just fine and receive some really good rewards. Now, in my opinion, I think the Endless Battle rewards are better for a new free to play account because you're getting all these goodies with the bingo shop, red or purple runes, yellow runes, uh, gear upgrade materials, the rubellite, the XP, the gold, all this stuff you really, really need, stamina, as well as um, anything you can buy with the tickets. You can get a full gene. You see, I've accrued or I've gotten all the rewards in one week. I got 60 limited tickets just through this, probably more actually, because you can get two, uh, two after stage six, I do believe. So you can get a lot of limited tickets and gene hybrid shards through this event if it opens for you in week three. And I hope it does. And then from the exchange, you can see what I've been buying. Basically, I've just been buying leveling materials. So I can actually buy this and I can, that is Crimson Abyss. And then I am buying the XP because that is my current bottleneck for progressing my heroes. And I suppose I can buy this. That's what I would recommend you buy on a free-to-play account. Buy the Crimson Abyss, Staminas, buy the XP, and buy the Rubellite, right? Because right now, you're all about pushing your heroes through those breakpoints, uh, leveling up your heroes. 
So those are the basically all of the events that have gone on in week three. We're gonna get into some fine minutia for uh, details when we finish uh, this segment and we can go through the spreadsheet. So stay tuned to the end because you're gonna get some, some finer details, maybe some tips and tricks. But as you see, I have pushed further than I ever thought, further than I did in the first month when I did my first free to play, or my actually my first, wasn't even my free to play. Was it my free to play? I think it was my free to play. When I did my first free to play all the way back in January of, uh, of this year, 35, 13, I think that account only made it to 26, like 20 through four weeks. Uh, but the team that's really gonna carry you forward is this team right here. So um, I'm gonna start the challenge. You can kind of see the team. So Artist is immortal. Uh, Leo is only yellow one. Serena's immortal, Daniel is Lego zero, and Loran is Lego zero as well. Now, I don't know if we're gonna beat that, so we're just gonna back out. Now, the you're gonna use pretty much these five heroes, or you're gonna replace Loran with Taylor. So if you're in a battle, like this stage you see is more um, AOE focused. So what I'm gonna do in this stage is uh, just bring in two healers to keep my front line alive and use Dan to knock everyone down. But if you come up to a stage that has a lot of tanks uh, in the front line or a bunch of tanks you gotta get down, then you really, really wanna bring in Taylor because he's really gonna melt those tanks for you. And then you're gonna have to rely on that single healer, which is Ser your Serena. They're all gonna have to be geared properly. Gearing's on you. I have a spreadsheet for gearing. It is also linked in the description below if you wanna figure out how to gear them. Uh, I do have starter recommendations on how to gear heroes. You're going to want to use these those recommendations, the beginning game recommendations. Um, Hagridon has really been money for me. That's the one I've been using everywhere because it helps my artists and my Leo frontline. And you can see I got some decent attack stats from my front and back row. Your commander roles are going to be completely RNG. You might not even get a Hagridon into week three. And then disregard this prototype. Uh, because that is uh, completely uh, RNG. You're probably not going to get that. You're more likely going to rely on Soaring Medallion or uh, Prying Eyes. Praying Eyes? Praying Eyes as your uh, prototypes uh, up and up and to and including the end of week three. And then you're going to use basically your highest middle level. And then Coronate if you got Coronate. If you can get Pain Rune and Flashpoint though, those are gonna be absolutely uh, money for you because Pain Rune is going to allow your Leo to stun um, the enemy units. And that is gonna be really, really big for your account. So count yourself lucky if you've got a Pain Rune or a Flashpoint. Otherwise, use the best prototypes you can. Uh, elite Campaign, you see it's starting to get difficult. Um, I can't show you, but I am now at the point where you need three teams. Yeah, that's going to be really tough for you if you're free to play, just because you're going to you're, you're hitting the ceiling of what's possible with your account. I want to progress further, but I just can't free to play because my they're not developed enough. I do not have a wide enough roster to make three good teams capable of progressing further than the point that I'm at right now. Uh, stage ten or chapter ten, you still only need two teams. Fairly easy for you to do. Just use your your, your two or your 10 best heroes, basically. Uh, perimeter, you can actually push really far in Lost Valley dungeons up to in, up to week three. Uh, you'll see Sincero Marsh, I'm, I'm tickling at 15 already before I'm even done my first month. I'm gonna show you uh, the team I'm using. It is this team, Daniel, and you're basically relying on Daniel to be your egg killer. You're relying, you wanna put Taylor on manual so that he doesn't jump into danger, but you wanna position Taylor and Sorietta so much that they focus fire the main boss and your Serena should be able to handle uh, tanking the damage from the boss. And then Falvia is just there to help clean up uh, the green spiders that spawn that wanna make their way to the front of the boss. So you wanna save, uh, or you wanna run Taylor on manual, you wanna run Dan on manual and Falvia on manual. Dan for the egg busters, Falvia to help clean up the ads in the back, and Taylor, you wanna keep him on manual so that he doesn't jump into danger. So this is your team to get through uh, Sincero Marsh in week three. Now Disa Caves, again, this one tickling at 15 already. 
not even in week four yet, almost done 15. That's incredible. That is way better progression that I got back in my day. We'll show you the teams that are available there. It's your hunters. You're, it's your, you're relying again on your tailor. You're relying on bot mark to get the shield down. And what you want to do is you want to play tailor on manually. You want to jump him over here where I'm clicking my finger. You can see to the right of the boss because there is going to be an ad that spawns that you need to down with Taylor. So you're going to jump Taylor to this point and then you can put him on auto and run everybody on auto. Um, Artis up front, he can tank it just fine. And at this point, Serena can heal up efficiently. Again, you're going to want Hagridon to give your artist a little bit more shield. Uh, and really, I should be doing this, like this, in order to um, give my heroes the best uh, attack buffs based again on my commander who has front row attack and, and oh, back row, sorry, back row attack buff. So I should leave them where they are right now. Or I can put Taylor up here and give him even more attack. So that's Disa Caves. Terradome's a little bit more difficult. Why? Because uh, you can see I'm stuck at 13. I haven't gotten 14 down yet. Decent time, but the thing, the, the issue is damage with the boss. Now you can use Kyger's trick. If you have Gabal, you're gonna get a bigger damage boost through your tailor. But right now, um, these two healers and Artis aren't able to keep Artis alive. Now, if you do a different strategy and say, maybe you have a more developed Leo because you went a little differently, you develop, you put genes into Leo instead of say Daniel, I don't recommend that, that's not ideal. But if you did that, maybe in this case, you can be up to 15, but I will get there eventually. I just need more, a little more survivability on my artists. And then damage isn't the issue, it's just keeping artists alive in stage 14 that's the issue. Uh, but uh, that's the team you're gonna wanna use right there. Uh, Katosian Triangle, I'm very, very close. You see it, op it unlocks at 35.40. I think I'm at what, 35.16-ish? So I'm close. Next week, we should have those dungeons unlocked. Oh, that's gonna suck. Uh, Crimson Abyss, you see, I'm I'm almost, I can almost get stage four down. It's just my my Muka is just not surviving. He just, I don't have the, the best gear on him. I gotta bump a bunch of talent points into him, but I need two healers right now to keep them alive. But Daniel, Senwe, and Muka are able to supply enough adds to uh, prevent the blowback. It's just at this point, it's a, it's a damage check. Uh, I'm basically, uh, checked by DPS at this point. Daniel and Senway and Muka just aren't cutting it right now. But stage three, um, this will be a slow grind, right? You're gonna have to work on your, your summoners to be able to get this down. Uh, Soul Mine, I haven't hit a roadblock yet on the faction side of it. So 81, 81, 81, do it every day. It gives you good purple runes. Soul Mine, I'm at 323. That's fairly, fairly good. But again, you're relying basically on the same team that you used in story campaign. You see it's the two Atlas or the two Vanguard out front, Serena, Dan, and Taylor. And then you're going to mix and match. Sometimes you're actually going to use Senway here. Sometimes you're going to want to use Loran, but really you need, you need the damage from Dan and Taylor to get through most content. Uh, don't be afraid to put Taylor on manual and jump him around the battle. I know on this one, I'm getting closest by jumping him to the back line to kill that healing bot. And uh, the, what's that guy's name? Not Randall. What, uh, Xander, right? Get Xander out, because Xander does deal a lot of damage in this point. So basically the same team. You really only have to develop these heroes. If we actually go to my roster, which I probably should have started with in week three, which we kind of discussed. Um, you see, I've been dumping everything into Taylor and Daniel first and then uh, artist Serena, and, and really that fifth spot that you wanna develop is really up to you. I, I do uh, Falvia, even though that's probably not ideal. Um, ideally, you probably want Loran or Senway as your fifth spot for development, uh, because really the front four, Taylor, uh, Daniel, artist and Serena are gonna be in every team, and then that fifth spot is really gonna switch between uh, well, you're going to use Leo, but Leo's fine at yellow. You can leave him down there. Um, so you're going to have Leo, Serena, Artist, Daniel, Taylor, and then you're going to mix Taylor in and out depending on what kind of fight you need. And it's going to be either Loran or Senway. 
artist by himself, not enough to tank at this point in game. If you've been pushing really hard every day and it's gonna take a lot of time, it's gonna take a lot of variability. You're gonna have to mix and match the formations of your teams. You're gonna have to try a whole bunch of different things to push, at, to, to be able to push and get as far as my heroes did right now. Now, one thing I wanna talk about, again, I'm going back to Lost Valley, is stamina. You wanna buy in every game mode, uh, arena, uh, elite chapter or elite campaign, um, and then specifically you want to buy, you want to max out your stamina every day. Save all of your diamonds for stamina or for your for your game mode refreshes. So what I've been doing is I've been use, saving uh, two, st two extra stamina to do Terradome. So five attempts in Terradome, five attempts in Sincero Marsh, and then the rest of the stamina you get, you're going to pump into Disa Caves to get as much white gear as possible because that gear is really going to elevate your heroes. That's going to help you push. So that's how you want to spend your diamonds in week three. You want don't want to spend them on basic pulls anymore. You want to spend them on uh, game mode refreshes. So I'm refreshing everything there. The reason why you want to refresh your stamina in... Uh, arena, which you see, I can't, I can't refresh. Purchase limit, purchase limit reached, is because every time you win a battle, you get a gift. So either either gonna get crystals or you're gonna get t uh, soul potions for talents. That stuff you really, really need. This the first four weeks is all about maximizing every resource possible. You see, I'm in sixth on a server with a bunch of Caraxias. That's incredible because I'm doing everything possible to squeeze out as much progression as I can. Um, Galactic Arena is what it is. Just make sure you're getting top 50 so that you're getting the uh, stuff so you can get the res copies, right? And the limited, the 10 limited tickets. And then all your yellow and purple because those, those payouts are really, really important to you. Um, this one's done in four days. So I'm just going to get that at the end of week four. Um, I don't, you don't have to, uh, purchase all of these refreshes because really doesn't matter because really all you got to worry about is getting top 50 so just make sure that you are in that top 50 and uh, keep in mind in week three you have to win five of these battles every day to max out your event in the galactic challenge i do believe it's called uh what else can i tell you again don't do do ancient altar only do as far as you can one key and then save your rest of your keys till Sunday before reset where your account is at its most powerful in order to do we uh, get as much rewards as possible. So that's Ancient Altar. Uh, no, 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 no. Make sure you're doing your Wasteland every day. Uh, Rift Fissure, I've kind of stopped doing it because you don't really need to anymore. Uh, yeah, you get a little bit of rewards from that. You should do that if you can, but you don't have to. It's not as pivotal. Hell Arena just opened up. That's another thing. And I don't know what else to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. So check out my the uh, the free-to-play content creators challenge if you want to see how I compare to the other content creators that have tried different strategies. Go check out their videos to see how their strategies have paid off. But ladies and gentlemen, now, um, thank you for watching this segment. Now we are going to go look at the spreadsheet. And I'm going to give you... Uh, a little bit finer minutia on stuff that you need to know about week three to to progress as far as possible and to make your account as good as possible in internal evolution while the game still has you on rails. So let's go check that out right now. As I turn my mic on, so I was a little bit more awake for that one than the week two video, if you noticed. So let's go over to the spreadsheet. Actually, I was already there. Okay. All right. So this is the spreadsheet that is linked in the description of this video. It's going to have week four as well. And then I'm going to be pretty much deleting this account because uh, it takes a lot of time and I already have a free to play account. So this whole spreadsheet kind of acts as a little bit of a roadmap on what I did in this game. Um, don't mind these. These will line up. So week three. Here we go. So, actually, I can... No, I can't turn my head on. Let's see. Where is my... No, not going to put it up there. Anyways, so week three. Uh, first thing to note is, yes, it is Ampu now. So Crete has gone bye-bye. Bye-bye, Crete. You were um, good at the beginning of the game, not so much now. Uh, so just follow this in general. Pull 60 tickets on the Ampu banner to pity. And you buy a gene hybrid, use it on Daniel. The global banner, whatever that may be. 
pull 60 tickets and, and buy the gene hybrid and use it on Leo. So Daniel's Elite Chapter event, uh, which gives you the free copy of Daniel, that is open from week two just for a few days so you can complete it. Uh, the Daniel Hero Evolution event is also open for two days from week two. Make sure you get that free copy of Daniel at the fourth copy, which is outlined in this week right here, in week two. And then we get into Galactic Treasure, uh, which we discussed in the video. It's going to give you a free Ampu copy and a free Senway copy and 15 limited tickets. It is very important you win three Galactic Arena battles, or five Galactic Arena battles every day so you can get as much rewards as possible from this event. Double chip event. You know, you're going to be tempted to spend all your limiteds in week three. Uh, don't do that. That is not the, the way to do it if you're free to play. If you're pay to win, go ahead. Spend them all, buy more, spend more. But for the double chip, you want to spend 120 limited tickets only if you're free to play. Ensure you save the rest for week four so you can get Masrani. Uh, the military supplies event is open in week three. That is the pay to win. You got to spend a lot of money to get that Ampu, Bailey, and Leo copies. And then you're going to get a, a, a copy or two copies of Kalaza from stages this isn't level or stage 55 of story this is the the stage so if you guys don't know that isn't the level if we go over here why do i have this still open let's make that little whoa okay never mind actually i should probably fix that hold on you guys are getting a little behind the curtains action here okay there we go so you see right above my head, like directly right above my head right there. So it's this, the little story progression thing. I'm on stage 74, but if you look up top here on the actual um, story instance or chapters, I'm only on chapter 49. So when I say there's a Colossus at 55, it's in that little achievement section, right? So you get a free Colossus at 55, 59, you get a Paluno at 57. Uh, all of these are going to be useful for you. Paluno, not so much, but you're going to use Paluno in your faction mine in the soul mine, right? The Atlas faction mine. So, takeaways from week three. Ampu was a big surprise for me. Um, I never thought they'd get rid of Crete because he hung in there forever. They have changed up the starting experience in the past, and he's always been week three. Now they're really pushing those summoners off the beginning, which is good. It's what you should do. So, note, I did get the fifth free copy of Daniel from his evolution event i do believe you get that day one of week three from his evolution from his uh, elite chapter event and then you can use that copy evolve them up and you'll get the free copy from his evolution event so i did get the free copy pretty easily you know you just got to make sure you're you're doing everything you can do in game um for me endless battles started on day one of week three as I said in the video, great rewards. Now, I'm going to mention this in the week four video, but depending on when you start your account, I recommend doing it on a Thursday and doing it on... I recommend when to start an account, but really, you're going to discover this game and you're going to start playing, be it a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever. I just chose the perfect time to start this free-to-play account because Endless Battles opened on day one of week three for me, which is probably the best situation to get the most rewards possible. So this account is the ideal free to play, but this is not gonna be the case for you. You may have Twilight Lands open when you go into week three. You may have, you may be halfway through Endless Battles. I don't know, uh, but starting Endless Battles starting on day one was a great, great, great help for this account. So I have on here, start pushing summoners again for Crimson Abyss. Um, this account only got Crimson Abyss 3 down, but I was able to push and get Crimson Abyss 4 down early in week 4. But you do need to start pushing your, or build, developing your Senway, and developing your Kalaza and your Daniel. And even Ampu is going to be necessary, so you got to make sure you have enough soul potions to make sure they have their large talents. And you got to have decent gear for your summoners. You have to start thinking about your summoner team as your main, one of your main teams in week three in anticipation of week four and then once you get out into the wild i have here need to start saving advanced tickets for ma's week four recruitment event i said in the video that he didn't have a hero evolution event he does you're gonna have both a recruitment event and a hero evolution event for Mazrani in week four uh, so you do need to have 
some advanced tickets. You see over here, I only spent 30 advanced tickets in week three. I spent the 120 limited tickets because it's double chip, but I only spent 30 advanced because I did want to start accruing some advanced tickets for the recruitment event for Masrani in week four. You see that I was able to earn 115 limited tickets in week three, and I was able to earn 118 advanced tickets in week three. And then here's the totals. Uh, and then going into week four, I had 107 advanced tickets banked up. So you have, you know, I don't recommend pulling any advanced tickets in week three. Save them because you'll get rewards for pulling them in week four. And then as I discussed in the video, I was able to clear Disa 14, Terra 14, Sincero 13, and Crimson Abyss level three. I was able to one key alter novice, easy, and normal. And I did spend two keys on hard, but I didn't get it down. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the week three in a nutshell. Now I can actually go over to this and not have that weird background in the background. There we go. Ta-da. Ta-da, ta-da. You guys got to see my OBS and how it's set up. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the ultimate beginner's guide to week three. Um, my Discord link is in the description. I am getting, seeing a lot of new players come into the game, which is really, really great. I want to see this game uh, thrive and survive. Uh, we're coming up on our one-year anniversary in November. I'd like to see at least two years out of this game because I'm still enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope my guides are helpful. Discord link is in the description. This spreadsheet is also linked in the description. You will find all of my links on every video that I put out. So I'm all my stuff is only one click away. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, either jump into my Discord or put them in the comment section down below. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later. Cheers. Peace. Bye-bye.